Ahoy there, I'm Yano. I'm Miyaka. And we're gonna do a little thrift store expedition and try and put together some pirate looks. <laughs> My strategy when I go thrifting, I, I try and do uh, easy to remove clothing. I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Miyaka's got snaps. Like that, <laughs> that's how we do it. Um, I'm wearing slip-on shoes. Um, so, you know, if you need to try on boots or get pants on and off. Another good uh, technique is to wear a skirt, actually. Skirt's good. Um, skirts are always good. And the great thing about wearing skirts at a thrift store is you can actually try pants on underneath them without waiting in line for a, for a, a dressing room. Brilliant. You can even uh, grab a skirt off the rack and try it on and do it right there. There we go. Or a kilt. Kilts also work adequately. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, so the things I'm going to be looking for, there's lots of different strategies with pirate clothing. Um, mostly going to be hitting up the women's section. There's usually not good pirate stuff in the men's section. True story. <laughs> um, blousey shirts are good, striped shirts are good. And look for things that don't necessarily jump out of you at, at, as piratey, but something that you could maybe alter later, or something that might fit within the context of other things you're wearing to enhance the overall piratude. Absolutely. Uh, scarves are good. You can wear them on your head or as a sash. Um, as far as footwear goes, it's hard to find shoes that fit in thrift stores. Where you can always be a barefoot pirate if you find some cool boots that fit or sandals. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's probably about it. Oh, uh, military style things. Yeah, vests yeah. and jackets with lots of buttons. Also very good. Right. And if you don't find any shoes, don't worry, because if pirates live today, you know they'd wear these. <laughs> we went to the Goodwill on Mission and South Van Ness. It's right by Market and 11th, that area. I usually find things when I go there. It's a nice size. Uh, it's usually got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, 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 dude. Oh, nice. That's really good. <laughs> really like. Nice selection of scarves here. They were laid out, so it was really easy to go through them and look at them. If you think about it, uh, pirates would have gotten their clothes from all over, maybe purchased in random port towns that they would stop in, even uh, lavish expensive clothing that they would use some of their loot on, or of course they would just steal it off the backs of their victims if they saw something that was fun that they liked. That's probably why uh, a lot of people picture pirates in military coats, because they might have killed a military officer and liked all the shiny buttons on his coat. So it feels right to be in a thrift store just kind of going through this sea of clothes. Oh, there's a black and white stripe. Put a sash on it. With, and the swooping, <laughs> like this would have to go. Could even cut the sleeves off of it. Yeah. This jacket was cool and kind of nautical. It was navy blue and the gold plastic buttons were made to look like a uh, knotted rope, like a monkey's fist sailor's knot. Miyako was pointing out that cool ruffles can be removed off of clothing that might not fit you and put on other things or sewn into sleeves so that the ruffles are already That's there. That's fabulous. It definitely needs a headscarf. Yeah, it needs a headscarf, but maybe, the belt's fantastic, and, I mean, the colors are all in a really great palette. Uh, the vest is really nice. Yeah, this vest is a great find. Pattern, the buttons look really good, and uh, stripes are your friends, like, <laughs> the stripes on this sweater. And sweaters are great, too, because what I can actually do is distress this so it looks like it's a little sea-worn. Just take, like, a fork or something and just claw it until it uh, furls a little bit. The belt really ties it together. <laughs> and also helps pull the pants off the pants, <laughs> I would probably do is cut them off here and oh, spray totally. them. What do you think? Totally. Okay, yeah, totally. definitely. You can hear the dressing room attendant yeah. asking Miyaka to hurry it up a little bit. He ended up buying this sweater. We'll see if he distresses it with a fork. And then we also bought a shirt from a different look that he did that didn't get caught on film. My favorite outfit would have been about $40 after tax. $7.50 each for the pants and top, $9 for each of the belts, and $3.50 for the scarf. I like the bright pop of red in it, and the, the metallic buckles and the metallics in the scarf are all warm, brassy gold tones. The top is a linen women's overcoat, and the pants are cotton. Natural fiber works better than polyester. Some guy behind us in line said it looked badass. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. That's really good. So yeah, that's what I did today. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. I hope it was fun to watch. I actually want to do more of these. If anyone would like to come with me to a thrift store, we can put together some more pirate looks together. <laughs> Basically, I just wanted to show that it was really easy and relatively inexpensive to just combine different elements and turn them into a pirate look. You can probably do it in your own wardrobe as well. Now you have no excuse to not dress like an awesome pirate on National Talk Like a Pirate Day or any other pirate holiday. Or for Halloween, be a pirate. It's pretty simple. Yarrr!